Hey everybody, this is Frank with Affinity Trading. Welcome to our channel. If you're new, please subscribe so you can stay tuned to the latest day trading videos. All right guys, so not too many ideas, so I'm gonna just show you what we got. Uh, but before I get started, I just wanna go ahead and point out that this is the new Trade Zero charting package. Uh, this is the 0.447 um, Trade Zero version. It's pretty new and it's uh, got some new features, so I uh, really like it a lot. And um, also want to answer a question uh, that I got from uh, some traders about um, if it's possible to use Trade Zero if you're a U.S. citizen. Well, if you uh, contact us at Affinity, we definitely can let you use our platform. Um, it's available to U.S. traders only if only through Affinity. So you know, if you're interested in a day trading account please contact us and we can also help you save money on fees and give you the best uh, service available in the industry. Also, we do provide training, coaching, and we have a, an array of educational, educational packages uh, for the sophisticated trader. So just let us know if there's anything we can do to help. We'd be more, we'll be more than happy to reach out to you. All right, so, okay, now we can get into what was going on here in the online trading room. So, again, not too many ideas, but we really, the ideas that we did have were really high-quality ideas. Uh, we were looking at Johnson & Johnson here, okay? And this is something, this is one of a, a little bit more of a, you know, a kind of swing trade. But uh, you can see the shares came in here on Tuesday. And then they put in uh, kind of like a base right here. You can see right here on Tuesday, we had this nice base formation and one of our lead traders took some shares overnight and obviously, um, you know, was sold into the strength. And j and is a good defensive stock, even in a recession. I mean, J&J, &J, I mean, it's just, uh, let's take a look at the daily here, you know, good defensive stock to, to own shares in. So that was one of our trades. And also, we were also looking at um, Caterpillar this morning. Caterpillar rep um, reported earnings. So you can see shares of Caterpillar were extremely volatile this morning. Uh, kind of kind of hard to get in involved in this when you have you have a widespread like this. Um, but nevertheless, probably after the first five minute candle, you know, you could have probably you got a little spike right here. Probably could have initiated a short uh, some somewhere around here, around 170, close to 171. Uh, some looks like there's some resistance right here on the previous day. I mean, that's what happened. It was kind of like in a. Um, it looks like the shares just kind of took a nosedive. Uh, so the story is, Caterpillar reported better than expected earnings, but however. There was some weakness in, if you look at uh, the year prior, the sales weren't as robust as it was the previous year. Nevertheless, investors stepped up to the plate here uh, after the first 30 minutes started buying back some of the shares. Caterp Caterpillar rallied pretty hard back up. Um, you know, their sales were above consensus, so there were some bright areas in the uh, in the earnings report. So after investors shook off this initial sell-off, it looks like it's just back to, you know, this, the, the shares have been on the tear. You look here on the daily. But again, a lot of volatility, not very easy to trade. So sometimes the best uh, the best plan is just to, to react, you know, to to the initial the initial move. And again, um, Caterpillar is still, strong, uh, still a strong stock. So that's what we were looking at. Also, in late in the day here, we were looking at some shares of the home builders. We did have new home sales uh, reported today, and it also came in a little bit uh, weaker than expected. So um, you can see right here, Caterpillar, I'm sorry, uh, Lenar, um, shares just couldn't, they just couldn't, it, it couldn't sustain any strength. Tried, tried to rally, um, came back into a previous uh, level of uh, resistance, and then just sold off here late in the day. You can also take a look at uh, Toll House here. The same kind of setup. Um, Sears just kind of um, coming in, 
in the morning you're trying to find a level couldn't find any support and then just had nowhere to go but back down especially you can see right here when we broke uh, VWAP right here um, that was it that uh, the shares just lost all momentum so you got this nice little pullback 50 cent drop in the shares and so that's what we were looking at this the entire day uh, you know not too many ideas but really you only need one or two really good ideas to become profitable as a trader so some days you'll have days where you know there's a plethora of ideas you'll have five or ten different ideas but you know on days like today you know we just kind of want to sit back it's been a long week so we're just kind of trying to find the best setups and uh, this is this is how it works so join us if you're interested you can join us and learn more about uh, our online trading room you can learn call, give us a call if you'd like to learn more about day trading accounts or if you're interested in education and training Affinity is the pre online uh, premier online day trading service, so I'd be more than glad to, to walk you through the process of, uh, if you need to get set up with anything. So thanks again. Stay tuned for more videos. Hope you all have a nice day. Thanks.